The market share for ultra-wide monitors is, uh, you guessed it, getting wider. And in fact, 20% of the displays bought by our audience members this year have been ultra-wides. But what if I told you that you could get many of the benefits of an ultra-wide without abandoning the 16 by 9 aspect ratio that you've grown to love? Introducing the ultra wide and super tall BDM 4037U Ultra HD curved monitor from Philips. Hold on to your mind, kids, cause it's about to get exploded. Cause this thing is 40 inches diagonally. Sci-Fi Power's lineup of gaming desktops feature Intel 7th generation Core i7 processors. Check them out on Amazon at the link below. So 40 inches is nothing for a TV these days. But when it's sitting right in your face, on a desk, it's a different story altogether. Seriously, no one can walk by this thing without making a comment about how it's so big. Something that I'm totally used to, by the way. But seriously, the slim bezel, the 3000R curve, and the sheer size of the Philips BDM4037U make for an utterly immersive experience that's unlike anything I've used before. And this is especially true if you tilt it down towards yourself a little, which may in fact be necessary since the height can't be adjusted out of the box. Though there are some things I like about the stand, it somehow does a surprisingly solid job of mitigating screen wobble, given the 25 and a half pound weight of this behemoth, and I love the minimalistic and compact look, the stand has a tendency to loosen, causing unwanted rotation that can drive you absolutely bonkers. I expect a little more from the stand that's holding up a thousand dollar monitor. Overall, I'd describe the BDM4037U, I'm going to start calling it Phil, as streamlined. It has no buttons or I.O. at all on the front or sides. And in fact, if I wasn't uh, pretty good at the old reach around, I probably still wouldn't know how to turn it on and off at all. This is a classic case of business in the front, party in the back. We've got one HDMI 2.0 port and another HDMI 1.4, both with MHL in case you wanted to mirror your phone or tablet display, and two DisplayPort 1.2a ports. Moving uh, back in time, we've got a VGA port, followed by audio in and headphone out. Good thing too on that second one, because the onboard speakers sound like a cell phone at the bottom of a well. And then moving right along, we have a generous four Type-A USB 3 5 gigabit ports, which is not bad, though in 2017, I'd like to see one of these traded in for a Type-C. And finally, another legacy port for separate sync or sync on green, and an input for the five foot power cord that was too short for my setup, but I ain't even mad because there's no external power brick and all of these cords came in the box. Picture quality should impress most consumers and even earn a close but no cigar from design professionals. It's a VA or vertical alignment, 10-bit LCD panel, boasting wide 170 degree viewing angles and a brightness of 300 nits max. Out of the box, it covers 99.98% of the sRGB color space with delta E values just under three and a gamma of 2.29 with an extra credit loving pat on the behind for covering over 83% of the Adobe RGB color space. The already good contrast was made 4X-ish during our tests by their smart contrast feature, which uses brightness adjustments to make the contrast ratio a little wider. So with some calibration, this puppy can actually get you a long way. And it's got some cool features too, like picture in picture and multi view, which allows you to use all those outputs, putting up to four 1080p systems on one screen. It's great for control rooms, trade shows, or like those cool 
stock market desks that you see in the movies. So at 40 inches, Phil is as wide as the ultra wide in my office, but with an extra four inches in height, not to mention 40% off the price. This means we give up some gaming prowess. So no 75 Hertz refresh or FreeSync and slower pixel response times, but we keep the productivity benefits and immersiveness of a curved ultra wide and the tried and true 16 by nine aspect ratio. And while watching 21 by nine movies or playing games on an ultra wide is about as close as you can get to a cinema like experience, I suspect a lot of folks would prefer letterboxing their movie content to pillarboxing their everything else content, especially given Phil's excellent black depth. And when it comes to gaming, for the titles with proper horizontal plus support, you can manually set an ultra wide resolution and then just run native 4K for everything else. And I guess that's the bottom line, versatility. You can watch movies, you can do some photo editing, you can use it like an ultra wide. I mean, hell, you can even use it as a small TV. I'd personally add an arm for height adjust, but other than that, damn, I'm really starting to like this thing. Tunnel Bear takes the, uh, the bear crap out of setting up a VPN. It allows you to browse the internet privately and enjoy a more open internet experience. With Tunnel Bear turned on, your Wi-Fi connection is secured and your online activity is kept private from your internet provider, advertisers, and I mean, basically anyone who's looking to track you or profit from your data. They've got a top rated privacy policy and they do not log your activity. So try it for free with 500 megabytes of data, no obligation, no credit card required. And then if you choose to get an unlimited data plan, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash LTT. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked, dislike. But if you liked, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe even consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is a link to our community forum as well as our merch store. And you should totally check out those as well.